Hello everyone and welcome to Study IQ English. I'm Joy C. Joy and today we are going to discuss about the MSME sector in India. MSME refers to micro, small and medium enterprises. From the name itself, it is clear that they are small enterprises or small businesses that support the economy. Let us look into the details of MSME sector in India. Getting started, MSME that is the micro, small and medium enterprises. These are entities that are involved in production, manufacturing and processing of goods and commodities. So these are the enterprises, even though they work at a smaller level or a small scale, micro, small and medium enterprises. These are entities, entities that are involved in the production, manufacturing and processing of goods and commodities. These are uh, enterprises which produces, they can either produce the goods and service or manufacture the goods and service or they can also be involved in processing of goods and commodities. Now the concept of MSME that is to categorize this medium or micro small and medium enterprises into a separate category from that of the general category of industries. This was first time done in 2006. So the very first time the concept of MSME was introduced by the government of India was through the micro, small and medium enterprises development act of 2006. That is the MSME development act of 2006. Now, when we come to the classification of MSMEs, how can we classify MSMEs? MSMEs are classified as per the turnover and the investment. So this is the latest classification according to the Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan scheme in 2020. Earlier there was a different kind of classification for MSME sector. How we classify industries as micro units, then uh, small units and then medium units. Now let's see what is the latest uh, classification as per the Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. Coming to micro enterprises. As we said, both investment as well as turnover, both of this are taken as criteria, investment as well as turnover. So investment less than 1 crore and turnover less than 5 crore. So you have to remember it 1 and 5. Investment is less than 1 crore and turnover is less than 5 crore. Coming to small enterprises, investment is less than 10 crore and turnover is up to 50 crore. Coming to medium enterprises, those enterprises having an investment of maximum of 20 crore and then turnover of 100 crore. So this is the new classification. What you have to remember is in the new classification for MSME, both turnover as well as the uh, investment is taken. Both these criteria are considered for the <coughs> latest classification as per the ministry. So remember this numbers as well. You can make your own tricks to remember it. Maybe you can use it like 1 and 5 you remember. Then you add two zeros into it. That is uh, in 1 you add 0 then you get 10. And 5 you add a 0 you get 50. Then the, when it comes to medium it is just the double. 10 into 2 is 20 and 50 into 2 is 100. Maybe you can remember it that way also. This is one trick that I have just suggested. You can make your own tricks and tips to remember this number as well. Maybe it can be a question in prelims exam. Moving on, coming to MSME in enterprises. There is a separate or a dedicated ministry for the MSME sector in India, which means that it shows how enthusiastic is the government with regard to developing this sector. The government has a dedicated ministry, which is solely for this MSME sector. It is a branch of government of India. And it is the apex executive body for formulation and administration of rules, regulations and laws relating to micro, small and medium enterprises in India. The ministry, MSME ministry, is the apex body which is responsible for formulating and also administrating the rules, regulations and laws related to MSME sector in India. So it's the apex body. Now next time when you see any scheme that is related to MSME sector, there is no doubt it would be from the Ministry of MSME. There can be exceptions but very rarely. Otherwise in most cases it would be administered by the Ministry of MSME. <laughs> under the legislation that is under the Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Act of 2006, the Government of India established the National Board for MSME. 
under the act that is 2006 legislation which created a separate segment called msme sector under this legislation the government had established a national board national board for micro small and medium enterprises and this is to examine the factors affecting promotion and development of msme so this was done in order to examine the factors affecting the promotion and development of the msme sector <clears throat> this board also reviews the existing policies and suggests recommendations to the government for the growth of msme sector this board is responsible for uh, looking into the existing policies if the existing policies are well executed and if they are enough or not and also to recommend various policies policy recommendations to the government for the growth of msme sector and these are the services provided by the ministry of msme it provide facilities for testing training for entrepreneurship development and for preparation of project and product profiles technical and managerial consultancy assistance for exports pollution and <laughs> energy audits so these are the various services provided by the msme sector now coming to importance and the features of msme this can be probably a mains question as well a descriptive type question the significance or the importance of msme sector for our country the msme sector is considered as the backbone of indian economy backbone is something that supports you supports your entire body same way it is considered as a backbone of indian economy because it supports the indian economy on various parameters with regard to gdp contribution employment generation production etc let us come to it in detail so it's considered as the backbone of indian economy that has contributed substantially to the economic development of the nation <clears throat> now economic development is a broader term when we compare it with the concept of economic growth economic growth is merely concerned about the gdp gdp growth rate whereas economic development is much more wider or much more broader as compared to economic growth economic development means along with achieving growth social parameters or social indicators are also achieved growth plus social indicators are achieved that is <clears throat> economic development it generates employment opportunities and works in the development of backward and rural areas so employment generation or employment contribution to employment is one of the major distinguishing features of msme sector why it is important because msme sector are small enterprises so their investment is also less which means that they are mostly labor intensive than capital intensive they are labor intensive as compared to other large units because they are labor intensive it provides large scale employment opportunities so it provides or generates employment opportunities and works in the development of backward and rural areas and in india there are approximately 6.3 crore msmes this is the number of msmes in india this is the approximate number so this itself shows that how important is for the economy in terms of gdp contribution in terms of employment generation etc in addition due to following features they are considered a viable source of income for those looking to venture into the manufacturing industry let us see why it is considered as a viable source of income for those who are trying to enter into the manufacturing industry <clears throat> first one is export promotion and potential for indian products funding finance and subsidies government's promotion and support growth in demand in the domestic market less capital required manpower training project profiles low material and machinery procurement these are the reasons why msme is considered as a viable option for the people who are trying to enter into the manufacturing sector why it is viable first of all it's financially viable or economically viable because starting an msme or starting a business within the msme sector is financially viable because it does not require much investment or capital and apart from that government is providing lot of subsidies or lot of support to the msme sector to ensure the growth and development of the sector so first reason is funding that is finance and subsidies are available on a large scale government provides finances and subsidies second one is government has initiated several steps for promoting the 
sector as well as supporting the sector. There are several schemes announced by the government. Third, this leads to growth in demand in the domestic market. And fourth reason is that it is financially viable because very less capital is required to start a business enterprise within the MSME sector. Next is manpower training. That is the training uh, given. Then project profile. There can be many type of industries or units that can be started under the MSME sector. And raw material and machinery procurement as well. So these are the reasons. Now coming to MSME's contribution to Indian economy. 8% of India's overall GDP is contributed by the MSME sector. This is a large contribution and from that itself you get what is the role played by MSME in ensuring the growth and development of the economy. And more than 60 million people are employed in the MSME sector. It provides employment for more than 60 million people which means that MSME sector will definitely help India to turn the demographic dividend of the country into assets. So, maximum utilization of the capacity of demographic dividend can be made sure. Third is its contribution in the exports. This is very important. If a main question is asked, you have to give all this data. 40% of the exports are contributed by this sector. Out of the total exports, 40% comes from the MSME sector. And 45% within the manufacturing sector. 45% of exports from the manufacturing sector is from the MSMEs <clears throat> and that's why they have a paramount importance of uh, for overall economic development of the country. So that is regarding the MSME sector in India. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best. I'll see you in the next video.